energy product that you use, whether that's home heating oil or gas that goes in your car, the crude oil that makes up that gas, even the fuel that goes into fertilizer used on a farm is traded on this exchange. Ira Eckstein's been doing this for 20 years. This is a trillion dollar game uh, and there's billion dollar players. And almost none of them will ever see a drop of the gooey stuff. They're trading the chance to buy or sell oil at a certain price in the future. It works like this. If you buy an option at $120 for next month and oil goes to $150, you make money. That's long before the barrels of oil ever make it to their final owner, like an airline or an oil company. And right now, regulators are debating whether all this trading is pushing up the price. The big players make expensive bets. How much money do I have to have to buy a contract? It's a good contract. So I'm, it's a thousand barrel contract and crude's trading, you know, at $110, $110,000 to own the contract. Those of us who don't have that much can do it this way. Do people call you and say, hey, I noticed that I'm paying a lot more for gas and I see oil in the news. I want to get in on that? Of course. Of course. Jeff Goldberg makes investments for ordinary people. Want oil? You can buy a fund that goes up when it goes up and down when it goes down. Buy low, sell high. That's the key. Pretty simple. <laughs> Sounds simple. <laughs> Policing this isn't that simple. Regulators are working on a rule that would say a trader can't hold too much of one thing at any given time. But traders say the oil market is so large that the rule might not have any effect on prices. It's worth remembering that any investor probably holds some oil in their retirement accounts anyway. So while you're complaining about maybe $4 gallon gas at the pump, you could also be lining your own pocket. Lizzie O'Leary, CNN, Washington.